Welcome to the WNBA Bank Shop presented by the Fantasy Boutique, DFSBoutique.com. Go over there, check us out. Uh, sign up for the $5 a month membership if you'd like. Um, basically $0.16 cents a day, you get great fantasy advice. Pretty amazing. Um, great tools, uh, awesome community, so uh, check that out. Um, we're here to talk today about the uh, four-game WNBA slate today. We got uh, the San Antonio at... Connecticut, Washington at New York, Chicago at Dallas, and Phoenix at Minnesota. Um, so we're going to kick into some plays um, that I think you can really build your lineups around today. Um, so we're going to start at guards, and we're going to start with Vandersloot from the Chicago Sky. She has 9.8 points per game, 4 rebounds per game, 6.5 assists per game, and 0.9 steals. Um, she is 6,800 on FanDuel. 10,900 on DK. She also has an 18.7 usage rate um, for the team, uh, which is uh, uh, obviously you like to see above 20, but uh, with her recent string of uh, awesome performances, I have no problem with uh, with that usage rate. So definitely a solid play. We're going to move down from her to Lada from Washington. Uh, she has 9 points per game, 1.2 uh, rebounds per game, 1.5 assists per game. She's 3,400, uh, on D on FanDuel, 3,800 on DK. Uh, she has a 25.4% usage rate, which is actually second on the team only to Elena Deladon, who is in jeopardy of not playing this game. Um, and then second on the team is Hill, who has a 24.7 usage rate. And she's also in question of playing th today, which is why I put Lada on this list. I think uh, with Hill out, Lada is going to get a lot of minutes, and with that usage rate, I think she can definitely be a value performer. So definitely keep that in mind. Moving on, we're going to go to Plum from the San Antonio Stars. She has four point eight rebound or four point eight points per game, one point six rebounds per game, two point two assists per game. Uh, sitting at thirty eight hundred on Fanduel, sixty two hundred on DK. Uh, twenty three point three usage rate. She actually has the highest usage rate on the uh, San Antonio Stars this year. If you count the fact that uh Curry no longer plays for the team, um, so she has the highest of the active roster. Uh, I do like her a lot more on Fanduel than I do on DK. That price is uh, a little out of whack, the sixty two hundred um for her on DK, but still not a bad play. I think you can get away with using her. Uh, I just think there's possibly better roster construction uh, to use that money on. Um, and then uh, last but not least, we have Simone Augustus, who is 4,500 on FanDuel, 6,500 on DK, has an 18.1% usage rate, 12.2 uh, points per game, 3 rebounds per game, 3.3 assists per game. Uh, she's been on a little mini tear. She just had a really good game against uh, Phoenix last outing. Um, the team have obviously um has a lot of stars on it so she's not going to get necessarily the crazy amount of shots but she does have a, a a chance on any given night to have a an elevated number of assists or you know other stats so definitely like her especially on the the trend she's moving on recently so uh moving on to forwards we have Alyssa Thomas from Connecticut Suns and she is 7700 on FanDuel, 10-5 on DK. She has a 23.6% usage rate, which is tops on the team. Um, she has 13.8 points per game, 6.2 rebounds per game, 5.1 assists per game, and 1.7 steals per game. Um, she's also just been super dominant against the Stars this year. Uh, she has two 40-plus FanDuel perform performances this year. Um, so I definitely think she has something figured out against them. So, uh, look for her to be almost a little on her own. I think a lot of people will go to John Cole Jones, um, at the same exact price on, uh, FanDuel. Little, I think she's a little bit more on DK, but, uh, I definitely think that's, if, if people are going to attack the Suns, they're going to go with John Cole Jones. So, uh, moving on, we have Crystal Thomas from Washington. She is 4,900 on FanDuel, 6,100 on DK. A 13.8% usage rate, which is pretty low. But the reason why she's here is because, obviously, as I explained before, 
Elena Della Don's in jeopardy of playing, and she has a 25.8% usage rate. So a lot of that usage has to go somewhere, and it seemed to go to Crystal Thomas after Della Don went down last game. So uh, we have a 6.4 points per game, 7.4 rebounds per game, uh, 0.9 assists per game, and 1.28 blocks per game, or 1.26 blocks per game. Sorry about that. Um, I definitely like her, especially with Deladon out. If Deladon doesn't play, Crystal Thomas is a great play. Uh, moving on, we have Maya Moore from Minnesota. She had she is a uh, seven thousand on Fanduel, ninety seven hundred on DK, twenty four percent usage rate, um, fifteen point six points per game, five point five rebounds per game, four assists per game, and one point five steals per game. She'll also get a couple blocks, a couple steals, but um. Yeah, she's a she's a top top performer in the league. Uh, her price has actually gone down a little bit, um, which is nice. I like to where I like to see it. Uh, she's been on a little bit of a mini hot streak, and um, she seems to be the one that plays Phoenix really well. Um, I know Foles is on the team. She is a good player as well. Uh, she has seemed to struggle a little bit, but with Brittany Griner out, you can never really tell what's going to go on in that game. But I like more a little bit more. So uh, I put her on the list. So, and last but not least, we have Messamin from Washington. Uh, she is 5,100 on FanDuel, 7,800 on DK, an 18.7% usage rate. Uh, she has 9.5 points per game, 5.1 rebounds per game, 2.2 assists per game, 1 block per game, and 1.1 1. 1, uh, steals per game. So she hits five categories. And on top of that, she's only played a couple games this year. She hasn't played the full allotment. Uh, she did do some... Uh, EuroLeague stuff, kind of like Vandersloot did earlier as well, um, and uh, yeah, so she uh, so she hasn't gotten, I guess, a full allotment of minutes um, that she could have had had she not missed those games, so um, we're still kind of seeing her in the early stages, but um, she didn't play New York last time they played, um, but uh, in her absence, the player who, who stepped up took uh, about 12 shots, and that's up from what Messamin normally would take. Not to mention, again, Elena Deladon's out, so there's going to be shots available. So I think she can have some strong upside. So that's it for today, guys. Um, definitely um, like all those plays. Uh, they're great building blocks to uh, start your team. Maybe take two to three to four to five of them and then uh, kind of see what you got, pick out the best value that's remaining. It's a good way to, good way to get your lineup. Uh, really, really competitive and uh, have a have good value. So um, definitely go over to DFSBoutique.com as well. Check us out. Like I said, we got MLB, PGA, WNBA, NBA, NFL, NASCAR. Today is Sunday. NASCAR, NASCAR, NASCAR. We got a lot going on over there. Um, that's definitely a really big strong suit for us. So check that out. Five bucks a month, 16 cents a day. Can't beat it. Um, we'd love to see you sign up if you don't know how. Find me on Twitter, on Patch of Black, DFS over there. Um, hit the contact button on the on the website. Whatever you need to do, we'll help you out how we can. Love to see you over in our Slack community, talking with all of our other guys and girls, and and uh, and and having a great time and and building great lineups. So, uh, good luck to guy. Good luck today, guys, and we will see you tomorrow. Yeah.